Hi everybody, it's Rowan Smith from the Mortgage Center. I want to talk today about fixed or variable. Specifically, I want to define what they are so that when someone is telling you they got a fixed rate at a certain percentage or variable rate at another, that you understand what exactly they're saying so that you can compare apples to apples. So a fixed rate mortgage is just that. The rate is fixed for the life and length of your term. If you've got a three year term and it's three and a quarter, you pay three and a quarter throughout the entire term. If it's a five year term and it's 4.25, you pay 4.25 for the entire term. It does not matter if interest rates go up or go down, your rate is fixed and your payment is fixed. A variable rate mortgage, conversely, is one where the payment fluctuates according to some other interest rate, usually prime rate. The prime rate is dictated by uh, the, the Bank of Canada and the banks that then match or, or try to follow very closely their prime rate. Now, if you have a prime rate mortgage, the best available in the market that I have today is prime minus 0.55 prime rate is two and a quarter. That means a net rate of 1.7. So 1.7% on a variable versus say four and a quarter on a five year fixed. So variable has a substantial savings. However, your payment can and will rise if prime rate goes up. Now there's different types of variable. There's variable capped where there's a limit to how high it can go. But for that, you won't be getting 1.7. You'll probably be getting closer to 3% in today's markets. So you're gonna give up something in terms of you want more security, whether it be a fixed rate or a fixed payment, you're going to pay a higher rate. Now I've seen several ads, and I saw uh, one institution run an ad where what they had was on their whiteboard out front of their institution that said five years, 1.75. And of course, clients are calling me saying, well, I, my bank's advertising 1.75. What they don't put on that sign is it's a variable. Now you can guarantee that it's gonna be below the, the fixed rate that I'm quoting if you're getting a variable rate, because variable rates are generally lower but they do have that upside risk that your payment could rise. So there it is, fixed and variable. For the Mortgage Center, I'm Rowan Smith.